You notice your eyes itching and your nose running. A lot of people in the newsroom have that. It's probably allergies, and doctors say at UT Health Northeast, allergy counts right now very high. KTK's Kara Ruckert has more information. She now joins us live with what she learned today. Kara, what's going on out there? Neil, our recent rain mixed in with these warmer temperatures has caused a significant rise in the amount of circulation of pollen and mold. Allergies affect about one in five people and the number one allergen in East Texas, tree pollen, something the air is full of right now. In the springtime, we're most concerned about tree allergens um, because tree pollens are what are circulating um, the most during the spring and that's what causes the most symptoms. A pollen counter explained the process in identifying different pollens and molds in the air. Once every 10 minutes, a machine on top of UT Health Northeast collects pollen that is counted every day. And at that time, the rods are dispensed and they are collecting pollen. On this rod, three different rows, 40 different fields. It can get quite time consuming and quite tedious. He says pine, oak, and elm are the top tree pollens found in Wednesday's sample. Because we've had rain and it's been warmer temperatures, the moles are high. So in the field, you're identifying all of the different trees, weeds, grass, and moles. There's a big difference between having allergies and having a cold, even though sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. There are a lot of things that can be mistaken for allergies, and the treatment differs whether you're allergic or not. Um, and certainly even some of the allergy treatments can make some of those other chronic symptoms worse. Coming up at 6, are allergies genetic? We'll have the answer for you. Reporting live, Kara Rucker, KETK News.